five things every woman has lied about. Basing on science, men lie more than women. But the irony we are about to uncover in this video is that the five things every woman has lied about at least once are the five things men are most proud of because it adds to their masculinity and makes them more attractive and desirable to certain women. It is considered social proof to how handsome and desirable they are by women. And here are the five things every woman has lied about, one or all of them. 1. Body count Why should women lie about their body count when men are bragging about theirs? Popular opinion from women say they lie about their body count because they don't want to be judged by men. Some lie because they want to impress men. Generally, women with high body counts are considered whores, while men with similar or even more body counts are considered hot by the same women. If you look at it from the perspective that every woman has the right to her body and the right to explore her body and sexual fantasies anyhow they want, then we should not judge them or put them in boxes based on body count. Women who confess to lying about their body count say they generally subtract anywhere between 2 to 5 bodies or divide the total body count by 2 and that any woman who says she has only 4 bodies is lying. These women also say that they will stop lying about their body counts if men will stop asking. 2. Having a boyfriend Women who lie about having a boyfriend say they do that because it is the most polite way to turn down a man and not hurt his feelings or dampen his confidence. Some women on the other hand say that they lie about having a boyfriend to see how confident the man asking them out is or to see how jealous they can be. But the majority of times women lie about having a boyfriend is just to fend off men they are not physically attracted to. Lying about having a boyfriend is the quickest and easiest excuse any woman can think of when confronted by a man they are not sexually attracted to. Because it is safer that way and it gives them the opportunity to tell more lies in case they change their minds about the guy. If they do change their minds, they will tell either one of two lies. That their current relationship is not serious and they are thinking of breaking up with the guy or they just broke up a day or a week or a month ago, depending on how long it took you guys to meet again. 3. Climaxing Climaxing is another thing most women lie about for reasons best known to them. Ironically, not climaxing is the leading cause of why most women cheat on their boyfriends and husbands and eventually get to leave or divorce them. Naive women lie about climaxing or reaching orgasm because they are afraid men will judge them for being frigid or weird. Instead of telling men the truth, they choose to lie about it. Maybe because they think it is their fault or maybe because they have weird sexual needs that makes them feel insecure and choose to lie about climaxing as a way of hiding it. But one healthy reason why some women, especially married women, sometimes lie about climaxing is because they want to boost up their partner's confidence, especially when they are battling with sexual disorders as a couple. 4. One Night Stands Women often lie about having one night stands, forgetting to know that girls' night was invented for that purpose, although not entirely true. But girls' night are meant for women to put themselves out there, meet men, have fun, pop a few bottles, and decide whether they will go home alone or have sex with a random guy. It is quite understandable why women do lie about having one night stands, especially when they were in the habit of doing it, because it is questionable and brings about trust issues in a relationship. No man will be comfortable to let his wife with a history of one night stands to go partying on their own when they are not around to keep an eye on them. 5. Not in for the money. It is quite true that when women say they are not in for the money, 9 out of 10 times they mean it. But what they forget to let men know at the very beginning of the relationship is that they are not in for the money in the long run, but they are in for all the comforts money can provide. That is why women cherish gifts more than physical cash.